Welcome back, gamers. Today we're diving deep into the latest rumors swirling around Far Cry 7, a game that could completely flip the script on everything we've come to expect from the franchise. According to multiple leaks, Far Cry 7 might introduce a 72-hour in-game time limit, and there are some major Resident Evil vibes that could inspire this gameplay shift. Let's explore why this rumored mechanic is sparking both excitement and controversy. What's the deal with the 72-hour time limit? So, according to recent leaks, Far Cry 7 is rumored to include a 72-hour in-game timer that's about 24 hours in real time to complete the story. In this game, you'll be racing against the clock to save your family from a group called the Sons of Truth on a mysterious island. But here's the kicker. Once time runs out, it's game over for some of your family members, permanently affecting the story. The pressure's on, folks, but there's a catch. You can pause the timer by entering safe houses. What could Resident Evil teach Far Cry? Now here's where things get even more interesting. The time-limited gameplay reminds a lot of people of survival horror titles like Resident Evil. In those games, players are forced to manage resources like ammo and health while under constant threat. This kind of pressure creates heart-pounding moments that leave you on edge the whole time. Could this mechanic turn Far Cry 7 into an intense, survival-driven experience? Absolutely. It's a bold move that could totally shift the open-world formula fans are used to. Why fans are divided here's where the debate comes in. Some Far Cry fans love the freedom to explore at their own pace and a timer might kill that vibe. The series is known for its sandbox style gameplay where you can approach missions however you want whether that's sneaking around or going in guns blazing. With a 72 hour limit, will you be forced to rush, sacrificing that signature freedom? Gamers are split, some are excited for a fresh take while others are not too thrilled about potentially losing the open world charm. Strategic gameplay and interrogations, but it's not all about the clock. Rumors also suggest a new interrogation system where enemies might lie or escape, making it even harder to rescue your family in time. Every choice you make could have lasting consequences, adding a layer of strategy that could feel more immersive. Do you gamble on a risky mission or do you play it safe to save precious time? These mechanics could turn Far Cry 7 into an intense ride. So what do you think? Could Far Cry 7's rumored time-based mechanics turn it into the most intense entry in the series? Or is this a step too far from the game's open-world roots? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news. This is Joystick News signing off.